John here guys and today we're talking about some three inch motors. Check out these Hobbymate 1505 4300 KV motors. Now Hobbymate sent these to me for review and so I wanted to get the maximum amount of performance possible so I built up another three inch more massive droner. I love these things. What is this, the fourth, the fifth one of these that I built? Um, and my goal here was really to compare what would happen if you took something like the Diatone GTR349 and compared it to a more premium three inch build. Everyone wants to know, can you match this performance uh, if you spend a little bit more and exceed it? So what are the things that you gain? So on this, I use my tried and true Speedix 20 amp, um, 20 by 20. I use the Heli Nation Talon F4 flight controller. I use the AKK FX3 with the connector. That is my favorite 20 by 20 video transmitter. And then I also use the XM Plus receiver. Now I use my little <laughs> antenna mounting secret of just mounting them on the rear arms like that with some Super 33 uh, 3M special electrical tape that holds just fine. I am running the included capacitor and for my antenna, I'm using the UXII antenna there for video and the Micro Monster camera by Fox here. Now this is my favorite micro camera. A lot of people like the Eagle and the Eagle is quite good, but I do enjoy the image quality of the Micro Monster. And I really quite like that it perfectly matches the blue of this Hobbymate, uh, of these Hobbymate motors. Now, what are some notes about these motors at first glance or first flight? They are super powerful down low. The amount of low end grunt that you get with these things is incredible. Um, I'm gonna show a lot of really small loopy type maneuvers because it's really hard to explain just the amount of low end grunt that these have. Now, why is that? That's because there is a wider stator. This is a taller 1408 motor on here. Uh, these Mama motors that are 4,000 kV, very efficient and powerful and fast, uh, but this is a wider but shorter. So it's 1505. So you're gonna have a wider stator, but much shorter. And so what I was thinking I would get would be very, very um, high amounts of low end torque and power. And I was hoping to see more efficiency, but it really did not end up being the case. Efficiency is pretty close. Now high end speed, it was very impressive. I would say that these uh, on a straight punch out are very comparable. Um, low end, you are gonna get a little bit more with these, but I was hoping in addition to the differences in power, I was hoping to get more efficiency or at least the same efficiency as this. And you really don't if you're flying very heavy on the throttle. Um, but if you are cruising around on either one of these, they're gonna be very efficient. You can definitely get a three to four minute flight time on either one of these. Um, now, which one looks better? <laughs> That's subjective. I personally think the massive, the more massive droner is the best looking three inch racing style frame on the market. It's just so good looking. It has an insane amount of protection for your stack right there. Um, the diatone that's really where they skimp out a lot this little canopy is not very protective of your center stack or your camera and uh i mean it actually does okay with the camera but it's also very breakable but it comes with three um two extras of those so what are you better off building well you can buy that diatone for about 140 bucks this one is going to set you back a bit more, a bit probably over $200. Do 
but the looks, the performance, the customization, um, you can't really put a price on that. Well, you can, it's about $200. <laughs> uh, so what would I say? If I was gonna race, I would probably choose, I mean, actually you could go with either one of these. Man, this is such a tough decision, guys. I really wanted to make a hard um, recommendation either way, but it really comes down to like picking a car. Do you want um, low budget affordability or do you want absolute performance? Now the part that makes it even trickier for everyone is that the performance of the Daytona is so good. Um, so what does this get you on top of that? It really just gets you better looks, um, a little bit better low end, but they're so close. This frame is not indestructible. I do know a uh, local guy, Jason, buddy of mine, he races his and he's cracked up some of these things. So no frame, especially a three inch frame is gonna withstand, you know, 60, 70, 80 mile an hour hits. And this thing can easily get up to probably very close to a hundred, if not over. Um, so just keep that in mind. This diatone will be no better. Uh, if you hit something full speed, it's gonna be <laughs> destroyed. Um, I do prefer the motor protection of the Catalyst Machine Works here. Um, these uh, very beautiful hobby bait motors um, are going to be more protected on this. I mean, have you guys seen a motor like this in, in like a larger size? It really is quite handsome and that it matches that Fox Eater Blue perfectly. So I'm going to quit yammering on, show some footage, check out the power that this thing has. Um, if you're looking for a motor that is uh, very grunty, this package really feels a lot like my five inch in the slow curves. The amount of power and lift and grunt that it has is very deceiving as far as what size uh, craft you're flying when you have the goggles on. So I really, really do like that. That's something quite special that this motor size gives you. And at the same time, it still has that blazing speed. And I think because I didn't expect the high end speed to be quite as fast as it is. I thought it would be much slower than the diatone, but I really feel like it's probably close. And it may be because although the motor is stator is not as tall, it is a higher KV. It's 4,300 KV versus 4,000. So thanks guys.